Hey guys, um, yeah, so in this video I wanted to show you my toolbox. This is a toolbox I use uh, for my job uh, when I'm out um, traveling and at the, the, the pro teams at the World Cups to service the, I work at Ceramic Speed, so with all the Ceramic Speed uh, products we have in the field. So this is made to service Ceramic Speed stuff only so you won't find any uh, brake bleed kits, uh, tire levers, uh, I don't know, shock pump gauges and stuff like that. It's just to service our stuff. Um, it's base, it's built off a pillow case. I can't remember the model number, uh, but it's uh, on wheels and yeah, I can pull it along like a trolley. Uh, in the lid here, we got my Allen keys, these are the beta ones, and I like them very, very much. Uh, yeah, I got from an 8 down to a 2 mil, and then I got a 30, 25, and a 10 uh, Torx. Is it a Torx in English? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I like them uh, very much. I got a standing knife for when I need to service bearings, I can just pop the seal up super easy. I got a chain, I can't remember what it's called, uh, to open quick links. I can open this in the back here. And one of the things I have here is uh, I got a Bang & Olufsen loudspeaker, just because, because it's cool. Uh, yeah, and it's nice to have music when you're working. Back here I also have my Red lab syringes. We got three different types of grease, so I got three syringes. Uh, I like them. The, you have this fellow here, so when it's in the toolbox and it's clamped down, you can accidentally get grease all over your toolbox, and it's easy to apply, easy to dose. Yeah. I also have. Uh... Ah, it's back here, but. Got these, normally it's in the back. I got a small Topeak kitty, a small ratchet. Now the bits, and the neat thing about this little feather is you can use it both you know, as a ratchet or as a screwdriver. So, yeah. I don't have a traditional screwdriver in the toolbox, I'll just use this if, if I need it. Then I have the Feedback Sports small torque wrench here, and yeah, super nice. You can it's adjustable, and you can go, it goes up to ten newton meters. So I can use one torque wrench to everything on the bike. Easy. Uh, I kind of like the ones you know with a preset with a click, but then you'll have to have three or four or five preset torque wrenches. With this one I can use them for everyone and I can calibrate it from time to time. So, yep, it's nice. Then I have a work mat. We sell those, these work mats at ceramic speed. This however I have custom cut so it will fit in my toolbox and uh, if I have John done my job well enough, you will, won't be able to see where I've cut it and how I did it. But uh, that's something, yeah. It, I got an idea and just went with it. The top layer, I need to see if we are here, yep, is this one. Uh, this is mainly of two big sets, so we got a big wheel bearing kit here and we got a, a bottom bracket kit here uh, so I'll just combine them into one I need to make uh, separate videos separate videos on both kit because they are they're so nice um, for threaded bottom brackets got these video will come up with those got a greases like the grease I have in syringes in the back but uh, this is how they look like when they come from us. I've got this little tool for removing dust covers on bottom brackets to make an easier service. Uh, yeah, and uh, 
I uh, got my good buddy and colleague Morten to help me out with the laser cutting and all the f the drawing on the CAD program and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's it took some some nights and some beers. Second layer, I got this one here, and uh, one thing I will you know. That stands out is are these these are. Uh, it started out as a Junior uh, cassette removal tool, but now it's uh, something else. I polished them up to a shine, and then a mahogany handle. I got both here, and there. Yeah, I'm happy about those. There. Yeah, bling is is always cool, and custom tools is yeah, just cool. Nibix thongs here, easy, super good, got a Pedro's chain guy, I can't remember what it's called, yeah, uh, one of the most underrated tools in every toolbox is having a, a good pair of scissors, this is the pack to the ones and I, I love those. I got my Pedro's hammer, I got a derailleur hanger alignment tool, I got a torque wrench for crank sets and bottom brackets and stuff. Um, normally I would say I have, you know, the feel of the handle and how much I need to, to tighten stuff down, but when I have this, I'm 100% sure it's equal the, all the times and um, I won't it won't be in the back of my head, you know, to have I, ah, did I tighten that enough? I know I did because it said click, so. A pack to the ratchet, also nice. Uh, then I got a 10 mil and an 8 mil for the ratchet and for the torque wrench and a bottle opener. Also very important in my line of business. Uh, now it's the fun part. Uh, I got a, an apron here, and you'll need to come a bit closer here, because this one here uh, is a special thing. A secret compartment. Uh, I won't show you what's in it, because it's secret, as I said, um, but it's a... Uh, it's locked with an electronic key, and uh, it started out like a crazy idea, and I'll, yeah, just having some fun with. Got my bottle cage for coffee or water or Red Bull or whatever. Uh, occasional a beer. Um, it sounds like I drink a lot of beers. I really don't, but sometimes you just yeah. beers are nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions for for my toolbox, my setups, my yeah, my thoughts behind it, just uh, write it in the comments. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, um, this is toolbox is now I don't know a year old, and I'm thinking about a version two now. Uh, shrinking it down, making it a bit lighter. It weighs just over 20 kilos, so I can I can fly with it where I don't have any extra uh, spare parts or stuff in it. Yeah, but it's it's right on the limit. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking about a, a new box with. When I do these products, it's kind of you know take over hand and and getting a bit more crazy than first intended so even though I haven't started physically building the new toolbox um, I'm thinking of like a race car theme with Alcantara leather and like stitching in a race car uh, and yeah I've got integrated power bank and stuff but it's gonna take a few months to to finalize and yeah yeah that's it uh, maybe some uh, videos will come out in the future about the tools 
for the hops and BBs and stuff like that. And uh, if you have any questions or if you have any videos I want you wanted me to show you, then uh, just hit me up. Cool. Ciao.